I can only hope it is so. All your illnesses are gone. You are all better now. The crew and I stay at Paul's home tonight. It has been a long night, and I'm extremely tired. But I have trouble sleeping. Tomorrow is Paul's funeral, and my thoughts turn to a similar situation last year, when I was with Georgia at Jerry's funeral. My closest friend was once a happy woman, but now she's a desperate widow and a mother who cries on my shoulder. She was the reason I wanted to make this film, but now I find myself emotionally tied to another family's life. We wake up before the crack of dawn. It is time for Paul's funeral. Paul's wife helps him into a pair of brand new shoes, the last physical gesture she can make for him. I feel so much sorrow for this family, especially the two young children. They are told that the piece they tear off from each corner of their father's blanket should be kept as a reminder that Paul's spirit will forever watch over them. It is believed that if you die before your parent, then you are disobedient. This is very stressful to Paul's mother. Even though her son is dead, custom dictates that she must punish him. His mother's final farewell is not a kiss, but a beating. A wooden stick is used to swat at Paul to let him know it is not right for him to leave his old mother behind. The funeral marks the end of Paul's life and the beginning of a new one. The family did all they could for Paul before and after his death. May his body rest, and may his spirit find peace. After several weeks of reading Buddhist scriptures, Georgia is anxious for some answers. She tried the traditional Taiwanese folk ritual, but all that gave her was more pain and a greater urgency to find her husband. She decides to try one more time. But through a Western way of communicating with the dead, hypnosis is a technique for contacting the other world. Therapists claim they can lead patients to previous incarnations, where they can see or even talk to the dead. We find Dr. Chen, who has his own psychiatric clinic in Taipei. He has been practicing hypnosis for 17 years. But will he be able to bring Georgia to Cherry? After trying the Eastern way of communicating with spirits, Georgia attempts one last time to reach Cherry through the Western method of hypnosis. Since he didn't get a chance to say anything before he died, you can find out what he wanted to say. After I count to five, your superconsciousness will go to the extreme level. One, two, three, four, five. Can you feel where you are right now? Seems like I am in a forest. Do you see anything? There are some stones.